Big Sean keep sneak this and I let it slide. So that wasn't on the song anymore. It was mm -hmm. a leaked verse. So I had to keep that in mind because I was pissed when I heard it. Mm -hmm. Big Sean and Kendrick Lamar's relationship has seen many ups and downs over the past 10 or so years. Although they have collaborated, they have also repeatedly and covertly made fun of one another. But according to a recent interview with Charlemagne the God, the Detroit MC believed there had never been hostility. Sean was completely taken aback when he learned of Kendrick Lamar's early release of his element. First during the time of Nipsey Hussle's demise. So then I'm like, okay, he changed that on his own. He probably came to the conclusion that it was nothing. To go back a bit, this was originally discovered by the hip hop community in late 2022. The rap industry was shocked when the AUG version of the damn cut appeared online approximately a year later. I think his false confidence got him inspired. I can't make them respect you, baby. It's not my job. Lamar's diss on Sean began. You finally famous for who you date, not how you rhyme, boy. Cute ass raps, get your puberty up. Then make you a classic album before you come at us. He would then wrap things up, leaving Sean off with a warning. Drake, your Meek Mill beef might got you gassed up. But I'm a whole nother beast, I'd really FK you up. So then I speak, then me and him talk. And I got the text on my phone. The Breakfast Club interviewer is then informed by Sean that he and Dot exchange texts. Although they don't read the texts out loud, Kendrick basically expressed regret to him and said that his pride was controlling his want to write such harsh words. He apologized in a sense for going that far, you know? Yeah. Sean further stated that Lamar expressed gratitude to him for the shout out on Deep Reverence from Detroit 2. Nipsey contributed a late verse to that song, and Sean claims that his verse was recorded after his passing, and that they effectively got back in touch at that point to work things out. The Yes MC wanted to respond to everyone who was making fun of him for not answering Lamar before changing the topic. He claims that there is no ill will between them and that he is not a clout chasing SNA, but he would be prepared to retaliate if he sensed that there was. Immediately Rocky and Drake still have unresolved business. Rappers Kendrick Lamar, Rick Ross, and the others who took aim at the six gods seem to be finished. But Rocky wants to play again. DJ Cast One, at any rate, asserted as much. The DJ stated on Hot 97 that Rocky was dissing Drizzy on his next album, Don't Be Dumb, during the interview. We all thought we'd have to wait until August 30th to hear these bars, but Hijack, Rocky's most recent single, might have given us a sneak peek. That's what some listeners, at least, believe. Analyzing bars has a self-fulfilling element. You're probably going to uncover a diss if you walk into a song hunting for one. Nevertheless, a lot of what Iraqi says does relate to Drake. These niggas want my wife back, the people want my next track. He is shown in hijack trash talking someone who shares a lot of similarities with the six gods. The coppers want my black ass. Fucked up, but it's like that. Rihanna's relationships with both Rocky and Drake has been talking points point throughout the battle. Drake even referenced Rye by her nickname, Fring, when he dissed Rocky on Family Matters. The interpolation, however, is the most solid proof that Rocky is disparaging Drake. The instrumental to hijack is a silky, airy rap, but Rocky frequently ends his verses with like that. Naturally, this makes me think of Future and Metro Boomins like that, the Drake diss track that ignited the entire conflict. Pull up to the trenches, all my jewelry, yeah, I'm like that, he raps. I just put my finger in the cause she like that. Don't compare that PY boy to me I don't like that. It is possible that Drake, also known as the boy, is the boy that the rapper is making fun of. Immediately not all rappers appear to want a piece of Drake, including Rocky. I Lay Down My Life For You, JPEG Mafia's album, was released the day before he released his single. JPEG Mafia is genuinely indifferent. He doesn't apologize and does what he wants to do. Considering confrontational album titles like Scaring the Hose and All My Heroes Are Cornballs, it makes sense. With his latest album, I Lay Down My Life For You, Peggy is as audacious as ever, but the aggressive bars will undoubtedly overshadow the experimental sound design. Choosing to ride the Drake hate train, JPEG Mafia unleashed some incredibly vicious remarks on the tracks It's Dark, and Hell Is Hot and New Black History. The rapper even comes up with the term no drizzy. It's dark and hell is hot is not solely a Drake diss. There are bars aimed at entitled fans and jealous rappers, but the ones aimed at the six god are unmistakable. He flips Drake's 2018 song No Friends in the Industry while spotlighting the allegations that the Toronto rapper has been with underage girls. I can count all of my industry friends on my hands. And my Anna's, they be in demand, JPEG Mafia spits. Obviously, rappers, they know what it is. If I show you a drac, I ain't playing with kids. The reference to Kendrick Lamar's Euphoria diss track in Drax Weapon is another example of Drizzy's use of double entendre. It's important to note that the title of the song references DMX's debut album. Rapper DMX, of course, has a strong dislike for the six gods. The No Drizzy line comes next. Over a shaky instrumental, JPEG Mafia and Vince Staples swap bars in the song New Black History. Staples delivers a verse that is, as expected, great, but Peggy goes straight for the throat. Especially when y'all cashing out for PDFs and rapers No Drizzy, he raps. I hope y'all paid attention, no really, I'm dying. 
I killed myself, tell them to kill me hey. Oh no. The song No Drizzy originates from the same location as No Diddy, which went viral online earlier this year. The expression was meant to allude to Diddy's terrible accusations while also indicating Sue's actions. The most painful criticism of Drake by JPEG Mafia, if not Kendrick Lamar, is probably the one that compares Drake to Diddy. Of course, the rapper is no stranger to this. JPEG Mafia has detested Drake from the beginning.